Creature Features presents Storytime with Cisco. Hey, hey, excuse me, excuse me. Welcome to Storytime with Cisco. I'm Bridget and this is Cisco and he's an umbrella cockatoo. Today we're going to read a story called The Mitten, Perfect for Winter. Are you ready for this story, Cisco? Hello. <laughs> Let's get started. Hello. The Mitten, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. <laughs> He's excited. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, just like you, Cisco. And finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it was, wasn't long before one of his mittens had dropped in the snow and got left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, just the right size, so he decided to stay. <gasps> He's coming next. Hi, Cisco. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then he saw the mitten and wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Who's coming next? <laughs> next, a hedgehog came shuffling along. Hello. Having spent the day hedgehog. looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, and being ones to argue with someone with covered in prickles, they made room. Who's coming next? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also, the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Are you going to sleep? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was soon no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Cisco likes this story. It started snowing and the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotted by and stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl and the badger saw the shiny teeth. They gave fox lots of room. <gasps> Oh, good stretch, Cisco. He's coming next. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all bear. plumped up. Not being one left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. And the animals were packed in tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with the bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged many times its size, and Bob, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered all the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nikki saw 
a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound and then she saw he still had his new mittens. Aw, oh, the end. The end, Cisco, good job. Yay, hi boy. Oh, okay, we're gonna cut. Thanks for joining us for Storytime with Cisco. We'll be back with another story soon. If you liked what you see, check out our website at creaturefuturesmn.org. Bye.